Hello viewers, here is a polished brass and copper Panama 5 Gallery Edition ceiling fan. This is a fan I got at the Habitat a while ago, and if you watch these videos regularly, you may have seen the previous videos I recorded on this fan. When I got it, the bearings were spoiled, the Intel touch was spoiled. So it was pretty much unusable. So I took the motor part and replaced the bearings. I got all that on video. And I designed a new control system for it, which is all onboard controls. I did not get as much of that on video as I would have liked because that was largely a learning experience for myself. And I did not want to record something that was wrong and then mislead somebody else or something like that. So uh, this go around, it was my first attempt at this. It was successful now that I figured it out. So the next time it happens, I will get it on video and show how I did it. So I don't really condone customizing fans. I'm sure somebody's going to get in the comments box, oh, the Intel will touch this, the Intel will touch that. I probably could have fixed that. I work in computers for a living. I, I could do it. But I just don't, I don't have a use for Intel a touch. At least in this house and in the shop and everything else, there's no use case for a wall controlled fan. So even if I had a working Intel a touch control, I couldn't use the fan anyways. So, especially because it didn't work, I took all the Intel touch stuff out. And I designed a, a, this onboard control system for it. So we have light on and off with this chain. And there's an infinite range control I installed for the light. So I can dime the light down to whatever I want. Even down to a kind of ridiculous setting like that. So that's there, and then um, there's a reversing switch for the fan up there. That was the best place I could think of to put it. I could have put it up on the top, but that just didn't seem practical to me. So I put it in there, and I have a four-speed uh, pull chain control for the fan. Now the pull string chain switch, whatever you want to call it, is also modified and because uh, I could not find one that that worked the way I wanted it to I wanted just one two three four and the only ones I could find were you know four plus three two plus one or whatever stuff like that so I had to open that up and and modify I think I did a video on that I don't remember anyways so there's a lot of custom made parts for this fan um, I'm not totally sold on the capacitor selection that I have. I think the speeds aren't aren't quite right so I may be swapping out some capacitors at some point and then I gotta figure out what to do with the mounting because um, this is another thing to be getting mad about. I don't do hang true. I don't like it. I don't trust it. Um, and the canopy is kinda crummy anyways. So I gotta get a new canopy. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty much ready to go, and I'm very happy with the way it came out. These are walnut blades. They're, they look cherry in the video. I don't know, white balance isn't right or something. But anyways, um, so let's go ahead and um, let's try this thing out. I'll put the camera back on the tripod. It's hard to get a good angle with the fan installed here. I should have put it on the other uh, on the other mount for the video, but I feel like moving it. So eventually I'd like to get this thing in the bedroom. I'm really just pending figuring out what to do about the mounting at this point because uh, I think I have to get a new canopy. So let's turn it off on low. This is four microfarads. And then I believe the next step up is going to be seven. And then nine, I think. I had written it down somewhere, but I can't find a paper. So I think it was four, seven, nine, and then ten is just straight ten is high, but I, I guess it's like ten plus. I don't know. I 
some of the theory I don't quite understand about it. I understand enough to, to put it together and make it work the way I want it to, but I don't quite understand exactly the way the capacitors interact with each other and, and add the values of it. it just goes a little bit over my head. So i got to learn that, but um, I know enough to get by, so that's what I'm doing for now. So this is a really slow, low, and that's what I want. I, I really want it as slow as possible. I had tried a three and a half, I think, microfarads, and it would stall out occasionally. So I went with the four. The four seemed to be the safest low speed I could get. And that says, I think this is a little bit slower than the in tower touch low would have been. Not by much, but just a little bit. This is probably like 40 RPMs would be my guess. And believe it or not, I can already feel a draft from it, which is impressive. I should have turned the light off. There's going to be an outburst about that. All right, I think that's pretty much up to speed. Let's go to speed two. And this is now going to be um, seven microfarads. And this is kind of like I intended this to be like a functional low. So now I can feel not a substantial breeze, but it's enough to have no doubt that the thing is on. Very quiet fan. It's completely inaudible at this point. So this is like... maybe 65 RPM, somewhere right around there. And it's it's got a, a decent airflow to it. You're going to feel this in the room. Now we'll go up to, I guess we can call medium, which and this is the only speed I'm not too sure of. I think it should be a little bit faster. I designed this with the expectation of putting it in the bedroom and I don't want a gust in the bedroom because this would be right over the bed and I don't like a lot of breeze over the bed you know just a really gentle draft on you know this night that's like 85 degrees out most of the time I don't like any breeze over the bed and I get sick um, but so that's why you know it's kind of on the slow side the more the speed on the slow side but there is a substantial jump between this and high so I don't know sometimes I use this I'll use the bedroom fan after I take a shower in the evening to dry my hair off and so I want to go a little bit faster but you know I honestly want it high because it gets cold so here we have the <laughs> the the problem of, of not having the right speed on this thing so what I'm thinking is maybe I'll take this this medium speed here and bump this up a little bit more maybe to like I think somebody said it's uh, 12 microfarads is typically what the value is for the third speed on the four speed models so maybe I'll replace this 9 microfarads with a 12 uh, so it goes a little faster uh, but this is, you know, this is a good functional speed. You can certainly feel the air moving around the room. But, yeah, I, I don't think it's quite fast enough for for a medium. So now we'll go to high, and you can see it's it's going to really take off. And it does shake a little bit. i got to balance the blades. Yeah, I think, I think that medium is going to have to go a little bit faster because there's too much of a... Too much of a difference there because this is too much air. I've never used it this fast. It's moving a lot of air. One of the things I love about these gloss blades is the way you can see the reflection of the the light in the blades. 
I just thought that was cool. Uh, but there's no, the bearings are good. The new bearings are absolutely silent. No, no annoying noises or anything like that. Um, and if it weren't for the wobble, this would be running pretty much good as new again. Unfortunately, the habitat is not always very gentle with the fans. A lot of times they put them down when they're fully assembled and then they bend the brackets and it's a pain in the rear to try to get it back to what it's supposed to be. And that's what happened with this one. Yeah, I can see one blade's a little bit high. I'll just have to bend that down and that should fix it. Um, and I'll show the reverse. I don't do spin down times. I got too much stuff to do today. Um, just to show that it works, there is reverse. And it is, it is working. Go up to two. three and four so there we go that is working um, just got to iron out the mounting issue and probably change out the third speed capacitor for something a little bit higher and then this will be ready to go into the bedroom